Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page in which I talk about common sense. But I try to keep it down under the nitty gritty, under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, there's something, goes over 10 minutes, there's something very, very, very important. And not important to liberals, libertards, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people like to drink, people like ayahuasca, people like DMT. Listener's discretion is advised. Listener's discretion is advised. If you believe in God or you're religious, you shouldn't really be watching my video. Alright? You don't even know what the word Satanist means. Okay? You don't even know what the word God means. You don't even know what anything means. Okay? Just get off of my channel, okay? Alright? Alright. Don't follow me. Don't don't subscribe. Don't do anything. <laughs> Alright. Since I take a different approach than everybody else. I do services rendered on the bottom there. If you can find it, that means the universe is meant for you and me. But this message for you guys for today and girls and everything in between, um, please understand, um, in 2024, if it's time to keep your mouth shut, I've already made a video about priorities for 2024. Nobody should be getting in relationships. You're not educated enough. That's the first thing. Okay? That's the first thing. Number two. Keep silent about everything you do because when you talk, you know, you put your energy out there and people are just naturally jealous. It doesn't matter if it's your family member. It doesn't matter anybody. You know who the real people are, but there's some people who just don't like your energy. Doesn't matter. Okay. Just don't put your energy out there. They want to, they have magic. Everyone has certain magical abilities. Okay. They have certain spells. So when they see you, they give you the evil eye. You don't know about it. It's just that they just cursed you. You don't know about it, okay? And then something goes bad. It's because you was running your mouth. Now, me, on the other hand, I tell people sometimes some little things. And then I realize, wait a minute. I told somebody these things. Like, I tell you guys I'm going over here and I'm going in these countries and stuff like that. But you don't want to pay up. So that's kind of like bad news to me because you don't really want the knowledge, Right? That's why I don't really advertise myself on the internet too much. Because when you talk about something, it's, some, it's always some broke motherfucking troll talking. They have no videos. I say I got back, I got video footage. Okay? I got proof. They don't want to see that. Okay? Some people are just like that. So that's what is the goal for 2024. Stop getting your relationships where you have no education. Okay, most of you have not had Alpha Fathers in the first place. Alpha does not exist. That means when you hear someone since Kevin Samuels and Alpha or, or Andrew Craig, they're actually beta alpha constructs. They're not even alphas. They don't even come close. But millennials, as I keep repeating again, will always call something an alpha and they don't know what it is. Because I'm Gen Xer. I know what a true definition of alpha is. Now, that's all I really want to say. It has nothing to do with God. And this is a thing that I despise when people always say, let God do this, let God do that. Let... No, no, no. It's you that do things. You are the God here, the little G God. So I focus on some external spook in the sky. Okay? I hear voices, but I don't know if it's real or not. I always ask my Holy Spirit, hey, can you come see me? Can you come in person and meet me? I don't know. I don't know who's protecting me. Because I get blessings every time I... I get in trouble for some reason. And I don't know what it is. I was like, why do I have to get a blessing, okay, after I get in trouble? Why is that? I don't know. That's just how my life is. I've been going through that ever since I was seven years old, ever since I started hearing the voices, right? Because most of you people are not that special, okay? I know that's, I know that's kind of sad. You don't hear a third voice. You hear yourself. You see your subconscious. But you don't hear a third voice talking to you. My daughters hear that third voice. I try to tell them to activate it in the darkness. Go into isolation or something. Something. Turn off the TV. Get off the goddamn phone. Don't even read a book. But that's how you find it, right? You find that third voice, okay, when you don't are not absolutely doing nothing. It's not even when you're sleeping, though. It's actually when you're just sitting there looking at the fucking brick wall. Exactly. Okay, and since most of you people, you people, okay, are dunces and NPCs, EDBs, emotional douchebags, non-playable characters, you can't comprehend anything I'm doing. You'll look at an image and you'll make a judgment. You should never do that. 
You should never read a book by its cover. Like, that's what they say, though, unless you're an expert like myself. I could read a book by its cover and it used to be accurate by 90%. But that's, I'm like Mr., uh, what's it called? Um, uh, you know, the mastermind. What, what, what it is it? Um, I can't remember that goddamn show. But anyway, I'm more like Mr. Raymond Renington than that show. Okay, The Mentalist, yes, The Mentalist. He can read you. Okay, The Mentalist. But um, since you guys don't really hear a third voice, I feel bad for you. I have empathy for you. I really feel bad for the majority of the human race in general. And as a matter of fact, I'm a sadist. A sadist is different from a Satanist. I require, I would, <laughs> I'll be hoping that 70% will somehow disappear. Okay, because they're like literally destroying the planet because of their greed and selfishness. Okay, they're a parasite. They are absolutely useless in this world. But when they're here, instead of trying to help people or educate people or even fix their own health, they feed off of everyone else's misery. Okay, misery loves company. Okay, they don't do anything in life. You're a waste of space. Let's look at a lot of graveyards. I see. I said, why the hell do we have these graveyards? I mean, we're, we're all just all in energy. We don't need a memory when everything is stored possibly on the other side, right? Okay, it's just your turn to come here so we can experience this world. All right? But what else is there to say about 2024? Goals for 2024. This is part two. You know, keep your mouth shut. Stay out of relationships unless you have the education, especially you women having these high demands, these superficial demands, which you don't even look in the mirror yourself. I'm like, every day I look in the mirror and I'm like, what the hell is going on with people when they can't even provide anything for no one? They have no standards, or or their standards is narcissistically high for a lot of women. Okay, a lot of guys don't have much when their average Joe smokes. But other than that, that's all I really gotta say, guys. You know, you know, you guys, you gals, guys, and everything in between, because there's more than two sexes. There's more than two sexes. They're called intersex. Look it up. Okay, need to have an evaluation with yourself if you're unhealthy this is the first thing i encounter when i meet people and i talk to them i said i look at their their health it's the first thing I, are they smoking are they drinking i already know already if they're doing any of these things these red flags they don't have it all together they just don't okay they didn't have a father figure i tried my best to stay away from people who smoke i already know their psychology you smoke cigarettes, you, you drinking, you already don't care about your health. It's like, how can you care about my health when you don't even care about yours? Stop talking about your business, guys. It's like Terrence Howard, is what he's talking about, people say he's a genius. You know, everything is a hypothetical. We could be living in the matrix now. Everything he could be saying is wrong, okay? We need uniformity. We need some form of comfort, okay, in order to understand this reality in a sense. But I'm not talking about that now, okay? I'm just saying that sometimes people can be wrong when they speak. But other than that, that's all I really got. What else is there to say? It's under 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> this guy is just watching me. Hey! So please, keep your mouth shut about your business, guys. You know? Keep your mouth shut about your business and stay out of relationships. I do not see guys getting married. They're getting duped. You guys are getting duped. You're the ultra beta sims. I don't understand how. I can understand I'm like how a male can just not watch the news or the media and see the consequences of a man getting married. There is no benefit for marriage unless you're overseas and you're bringing a woman back for business, family is business. There is no purpose to bringing women back, okay, guys. You're supposed to focus on the children now, not the women. The women are either willing to learn from you and will eventually get corrupted like mine. Because my virgin, I had a word virgin wife. She was, she turned disloyal. I have no idea. I think she was possessed. I don't know. I've talked about this many times. you got to have a backup plan. Cover your ass. And then you'll get child support. You'll get alimony. Okay. If you initiate shit, when you start seeing shit going on, you got to put it in place before it's too late. Put it in place before it's too late. And that's all I really got to say, guys. 
Because I'm not your average man. I'm not your Peter Pan. Peace.